right guys, so today I want to talk about an issue that's been going on for many years now and it has to do with blown out spark plugs on the 5.4 liter, 4.6 liter, 6.8 liter two valve Triton engines. Uh, like, like I said before, the uh, threads on there are just not sufficient to hold the plugs in, especially the early models, and they unscrew a little bit from vibration over the years and those threads can't hold it and it blows right out of there. Some guys have been able to put plugs back in there, but most of the time you need to do thread repair of sorts. So, what's weird is I just did one of these a couple days ago for a customer and went through the whole fiasco. So I wanna go over uh, what, what the options are for you if this happens to you. I've also, at the same time, been getting a few contacts all of a sudden, um, the weather or what, uh, from people that are basically getting hosed by automotive repair shops, whether it be a dealer or independent, they're paying five, six hours for this job. I'm gonna show you, um, it only should take uh, around 30 to 45 minutes to fix one cylinder on there and fix it right and be meticulous also. Um, now, of course, the labor's being a little bit inflated, maybe an hour, hour and a half is ideal. Uh, but some of these people are contacting me saying they're paying five, seven hours. Well, what are they doing in that five, seven hours? Even the manufacturer of these kits say it should take 30 or 45 minutes. So I don't know what's going on. And at that point, once you pay, it's kind of hard to get that money back. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a couple different options you have, depending on what's available to you uh, locally and what your situation is. You need the car the next day for work or not. Uh, so I'll go through a few different kits and talk about them, pros and cons, and I wanted to shoot a video of me actually doing this step by step to really help you out with the, the big kit I got for the real inserts, uh, but it just didn't work out. There was, there was uh, time constraints, so in the future, I'm sure I'll see one again, and I'll definitely shoot a video of it. In the meantime, when I go over the kit here, I'm going to talk about how to do it also. I just will have an engine showing you um, uh how it looks on there. Now when you're doing it on the engine, you're you're pretty far down in the spark plug well anyway, so you really can't see much, so uh, this might actually be better. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna get to the kits and your few different options you have in case this has happened to you. Now this may look familiar to some of you out there. This is where it's gonna break off on the coil where it mounts to the intake manifold, and that's from the plug blowing out and forcing the coil up and out of there, and it's gonna break at the weak, weakest point, obviously. So you need a new coil, and it should look something like this. So you can mount it back up to the intake manifold, and I only recommend the DG508s from Motorcraft for coils on there. If you buy them on Amazon, you can pay about $40-some dollars for them instead of about $75, at the dealer, something to think about, and these will actually last. Now, the plug is usually just fine, okay? The threads on it are fine, being a stronger material than the aluminum and stuff like that, but obviously you could have hairline cracks, and it's probably due for a plug change at that point anyways. So you wanna change the plug to uh, a new plug. And most of the uh, engines, the 4.6, and the 6.8 are SP-479s, but you know, verify for your model year Okay, so like I said, it's going to depend on your circumstances, which kit you actually choose to fix your vehicle. Uh, kits like this from Napa or this one over here, they're available just by any auto parts store. And the thread chasers are available. Um, whereas a professional kit like this down below, you're probably only going to be able to find that online like Amazon. And it's going to take a day or two to come in and then you can start your repair. So it depends on your circumstance, if you need your vehicle now, or you can let it sit for a few days and do it right. Now, just so you know, this one from Napa right here, uh, it's the correct one, M14 by 1.25 threads, but I don't like the inserts on here at all. And the tap on here is very, very basic. I mean, it's very basic. It's made for any uh, M14 by 1.25 threads on any vehicle. It's not made for the Triton motor at all. The only thing, the only good part about this is that the, the head on here for the hex uh, for your socket is 5.8, so you can get it down into the spark plug well, but I had no luck with this at all. Um, so I would not recommend that for this particular engine. Now this is more common at just about any auto parts store. You have the inserts, which I'm used to. They're like a lock and stitch type deal. And then a regular stepped tap like this. And I'll open this up. I know it's hard to see with the glare there. And then you have the punch down kit on here. The problem with this kit is the head on here is a three-quarter well you could barely fit a 5 8 spark plug 
uh, socket down into there, into the spark plug well. So how is this big old puppy going to fit down in there? It's not. Um, but it does have the style tap that I like, where it's a stepped tap like that. And it would work otherwise for their inserts, uh, except for the head on here. And this is the punch down tool to set it. Of course, it's going to come with it. And this style right here, hopefully I can get you a nice close-up on there, is the kind I like. I like. It's the it's the three-quarter inch uh, long reach. All right, so I got it focused there. You can see this insert's not too thick, so you're not going to take away too much head material in order to uh, uh, re-tap the head and put this in there. And that might be a problem with heat transfer. Um, I'll get to that in a second here. But this is a style I like. You can see it's black coated like that. And then right here it has a stitching in there to hold itself in besides the Loctite on there. And these ones are three quarter length called Long Reach. And these ones go the full length of the plug on there. And they'll fit flush with the end of the plug. It's a very nice setup. But you need the proper tap to get this thing to work. Now, if you feel that your spark plug goes down back in there and it seems fine, you're not sure why it blew out of there, what you can do is use a spark plug thread chaser like this one uh, from OEM. And it has a 3 8 drive on there, square drive, and you'll be able to get down into the spark plug well in there also. That is another option in a pinch, but if it blew out once, it probably needs an actual insert. Uh, to fix it permanently. And here's your other option. This is a full size, full featured professional kit that will put an insert into the head that will be permanent for the life of the engine. So it's up to you how you want to do it and what your time constraints are. This kit is the one I wanted to go over today and talk a little bit about it and of course how to do it right here on the bench. I'll show you exactly how to use it. Now this one is from Calvan Tools. It was recommended on Amazon. It looked the same as the ATD that I'm used to for the three valve kits. And if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably go with the ATD 5400 for the two valve engines. And I'll talk about why here in a second. So it is a nice full featured kit. It does have eight inserts in it, which is nice to uh, match the amount of cylinders that are on these engines. Uh, the time cert kit, which is about $500, uh, only has five, so what's the point of that? I don't know. But let's go on to this kit right here. This is absolutely awesome. I'm surprised this little plug stopper, air stopper thing is not in the ATD 3 valve kit because it is in the 2 valve. Basically, the ATD 5400 kit looks just like this, but it's from ATD. Now, the nice thing about this kit is that it bores the hole out so large in there uh, for these big inserts, and they're absolutely huge that even if you've done repairs in the past or your previous owner has of the truck and they did one of these hokey inserts like this it'll take this thing out of there too so that's nice to know it'll get this out of there and we can start fresh with the board hole and put the real inserts in there okay so how do you use this kit well the first thing you want to do is work on a cool engine now obviously yours is probably cool because it doesn't run no more but I just have to put that warning out there so work on a cool engine get your coil and your spark plug and all its remnants out of there all the other coils out of the way so you have plenty of working room disconnect all your injector electrical connectors and get the harness kind of pulled back a little bit and we have all that room to work in there and do this thing as, as straight as possible and as professional as possible so the next thing you want to do is get the a, a long blowgun like this and modify the curve of it so that it goes down into the cylinder, not just the spark plug well, but down into the cylinder also. And you're going to blow all that debris out of there so we can start off fresh and clean. The next thing you want to do is get this little uh, stopper over there and stick it into your spark plug well and just push it in there hard enough so that it stays in place you're gonna come over here you're gonna turn off the air okay the valve on here connect shop air and then you're gonna open the valve on here and what you're gonna hear down the cylinder there is air leakage and that's because one of the two either the exhaust or the intake valve is open you don't want those open when you're drilling right next to it throwing all the shavings all over the place so what this will do is it'll blow off of there whenever you get the both the valves closed on there so you just put the shop air to it okay and then you go down below the crank and you start wrenching on it with the 18 millimeter socket and a, a, a half inch uh, drive ratchet and keep turning it clockwise okay and then eventually this thing will go 
and just fly out of there. That's when you know both of the valves are closed on there. The next thing you want to do is check the piston. Make sure it's not way up by the cylinder head here so when you come through the drill on our next step, we're not drilling into the piston top, okay? So either you're going to look down in there with a, uh, a flashlight, you can do the straw trick and check and make sure it's down in there far enough, or use a boroscope. I'll link to a, a cheap boroscope down below that works really well, and you can, uh, you can look at it that way also, which is also good for all the shavings to make sure they're all gone when we're done. Okay, so at this point, both valves are closed. The piston is down. I made sure of that. We can get rid of this thing out of the way. And then we're going to put this guide into the spark plug well. And the flat side right here goes next to the valve cover. The valve cover is like this at an angle, right? So it goes like this, right? It goes right in there, and that way it can't spin uh, when we're, we're drilling or tapping later on. So we got that in there, okay? And then you're going to grab the drill bit, the reamer, and we're going to put a bunch of heavy grease on here, especially in the flutes on there, and that'll collect all the shavings just like it's shown on here. You see they're all stuck to it, and they get caught in there. It's a nice little pocket for them to go, and it needs to stick into there and not fall into the cylinder. So do that, and then we're going to put it into the guide, and it's a nice precise guide on there, and we're going to drill down until, hopefully you can see it on here, we're going to keep drilling, 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 so basically it go, it'll go about right here and it'll just fall through. And it has a pin here to hold it so it doesn't fall into the cylinder and that's when you know you've broken through to the other side. At this point, take it out and take the guide out of there, okay? And then same thing, a little bit of brake clean down in there and keep blowing it out. The cylinder and the spark plug well, get all those shavings, gook, all that garbage out of there. Now the problem I had with this drill bit that came in the Calvan kit is I couldn't get it started. It just kept binding in the bore on there. And what it should do is it should take a while to drill through. It shouldn't be too aggressive. So I had to use this drill bit, which is basically the same size, except it doesn't have the pin going through here from the three valve kit from ATD. Uh, so I don't know what the issue was there, mismanufacturing or whatever, uh, but I had to use that and put a, a cotter pin in here to act as my pin so it didn't drop into there. That's one note on this kit on here. And now we'll go on to tapping the threads for our inserts. We can put the insert in there as the final step on there. And then include a nice high quality tap in here and it uses the same guide so you go in nice and straight on there. The only difference is you need to go through the bottom first on here and then take the whole thing together over to the spark plug well and we can start tapping down into there. Now the height they want to go to, the depth they want you to go to is something like this. See this first slot right there? They want you to go to the second one to where it's right there and flush with the um, the, the V channel they call it there. What I didn't like is I felt this one might fall through the cylinder. It obviously will not because it's threaded into there, but I wanted a positive stopping point and I'm surprised they didn't include these little E-clips in there like the ATD kit did in the 3-valve. So I just used it from there and I put it onto here and that way it had a perfect stopping point on there. There's no guessing or looking or oh my god I passed it up and all that. It definitely would stop right there at that channel they want you to stop at. So that's another tip on there. After that we're gonna pull it out. Okay, let's go back out and then we're gonna pull the whole thing out of there and another cleaning. Same thing, your air wand and some brake clean down in there. We're gonna clean it up really nice in there. Now this is the most important part. There's no more tapping or cutting at this point. You want to make sure that cylinder and the threads that you cut are perfectly clean. No grease, no oil on them, nothing like that because the Loctite's not necessarily going to stick that well then. And also you want to look down on that cylinder and make sure every bit of shavings are out of there. There's going to be a few fine shavings from this tap process. Not as bad as before when we reamed it out but there's going to be a few from this, so you're going to want to make sure all those are out of there, nice and clean. And now for the easy part, what you're going to want to do is grab an insert, clean the outside with some brake clean, okay, and then we're going to apply plenty of Loctite, and make sure you go all the way around, okay, and you're going to want to do it down towards the bottom here, not too far down where it's going to come to the cylinder there, uh, the tapered seat right there, but right about here, 
okay, all the way around. Don't rely on the spinning of the threads to bring it all the way around, not on this application. So get it all the way around, make sure it's pulling on there, not too much, and then we can start threading the insert into there. And how do you do that? Well, you take your spark plug, you thread it into the insert, right? And then you take those two together and put it down into the spark plug well, like usual, with your spark plug socket, and you just screw in a spark plug like normal. It should go right into there, no problem. I mean, it, there should be no binding or any kind of weird problems. It should go right in and feel like you're screwing in a spark plug. And then once you tighten it, tighten it a little bit more, around 20 some foot pounds, like I showed in my two valve video. Uh, before and that'll give it a little extra torque on there and it'll definitely hold and at that point it should be a permanent repair. These inserts are nice and thick uh, compared to any other inserts that are out there. It's hard to show them. I'll get you guys nice and close on here. Look at this insert. It's absolutely beautifully machined. has a tapered seat and everything built right into it. And it's nice and thick, so it'll be able to handle the heat and transfer the heat without you know, distorting too much like these thin ones will. Now, no matter what insert kit you decide to go with, you want to use Loctite 266 on the outside of the threads. It's a special high temp Loctite. And this one is a special version of that special Loctite that's extra thick on there, so it doesn't run down the threads and you lose everything. I'll try to show you on here. Hopefully, I'll stay focused on the camera here. Put a little bit on there, okay, get it over there, there it is. So you put it on there and you get the insert down in there, you're threading it in and it won't run down and out of there. See how it's still there? And that's a good thing because you don't want a bunch of Loctite going down into your cylinder on there. So it's a good idea to get the Loctite 266 and uh, do it right. Uh, there's the other option of JB Weld High Temp. But I don't like that stuff. It's a little too thick, where I think this is a little bit thinner, and it can get deep down inside of there and really work its way into the threads. All right, so hopefully that was clear enough and it helps you decide which direction you're actually gonna go with your repair on there. Like I said, it, it's, it's, it looks daunting. You're drilling into your engine, what, you know, and you might want to just take it to a shop, but a lot of them, why they charge them five, seven hours? I don't understand that. And then they usually don't guarantee the repair at all anyway. See, so might as well just freaking do it yourself. Um, so in the future, I'll probably do a video showing me uh, doing it on an actual engine. But in the meantime, you get the close-up, detailed explanation of how this kit works on there. And uh, it should help a lot of you in the meantime anyways. I'll put links down below for each one of these different kits. But I'll probably just get that ATD 5400 because I had that drill bit problem on the other one. Uh, besides that, the kits are just about the same as far as the inserts and the style of repair on there. Don't have to get the freaking time cert kit. You really don't. It costs way too much, way too complicated, and it's not required.